Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I keep my KDP files organized. And by doing so, there's many benefits, three of which I've jotted down here. So I'm just going to mention the benefits before I show you exactly what I do. So the first benefit is that it speeds up workflow. So if you know exactly where your files are supposed to go, where you're going to put your files and where to find them when you need them, it speeds up your workflow and it prevents you from wasting time. And the second reason is that the books and the designs that you create are valuable assets. So what you don't want is to have all of them scattered all around your computer and either you lose them or you can't access them. You can't find them when you need them. And the third reason for having your files organized is that it's easy to make modifications in the future. So this is something that I do quite often. So oftentimes I'll create a book and then a few months down the line, uh, I want to change the cover a little bit to improve on it. So by having all of my files organized, I'm able to locate them and improve on the designs. So now I'm over here on my desktop. So you can see over here, there's two main folders. This one here, Amazon KDP, um, that's for another video. I'm not gonna go into this one today. For this particular video, I'm just going to talk about this one, KDP projects. So as you can see, that's what I've named this folder, KDP projects. So what I'm going to do now is open it up. And you can see that I like to organize my projects by pen names. So over here, you can see my Miles Elkins pen name. And this is a pen name which I create case study videos on, on YouTube. So if that's something that you're interested in, then do check out my other videos. And over here, I've just labeled them as pen name B, pen name C, pen name D, etc. Just for the sake of this video. And this folder here, folder X, just ignore it for now. I'm going to come back to it later on. So you can see here that if I open this folder, I have all of my niches here that are within this pen name, Miles Elkins. So you can see all these books, Emotions Journal, A4 Address Book. So with these two, you can see that this one's labeled as A4 Address Book and this one's labeled as A4 Address Book 2. So what happened was I published in this niche, it started doing really well. So I decided to create more books for the same niche. So if I click on one of these here, so I'm just going to click on this one here, Emotions Journal. You can see that I have several folders here. So I have my interior folder, the source folder, the interior in PDF, my designs, which I use Adobe Illustrator for. So the Illustrator files go inside here. My PDF book covers, when they're ready, go inside here. And then over here, I have a miscellaneous folder where I like to put other things such as uh, graphics, vectors, and KDP templates, etc., or any other miscellaneous files I put inside this folder. And this spreadsheet here, if I open it up, uh, this is for keywords. So when I research keywords, what I do is I put all of them here and then I sort of research them further to see which ones will go best with my books and which ones to give priority to. So I'm just going to close this. And then over here, this info file, this Microsoft Word info file, if I make it bigger, you can see that I plan out my seven keyword boxes, what keywords I'm going to put inside each box. That's the first thing. And you can see that the title for this sheet is metadata. And if I scroll down, you can see that I also jot down my book titles. So I like to plan my titles and subtitles rather than just directly creating the keywords on the KDP platform. And over here, you can see that I also plan out my descriptions. And that's about it for the metadata file. Now I'm going to go over each of them individually. So I'm just going to open this one here. And you can see that with my InDesign files, I like to keep versions. So once I've completed a certain phase of the interior, what I do is I create a copy and then name it 1.1, 1.2, etc. And the one with the highest number, which in this case is 1.3, is usually the latest and completed version. If I open this folder here, you can see my completed interior in PDF. So I'm just going to open this just to show you. And then in this folder, like I mentioned, I have my designs, the source files. So you can see that for each of my designs, I have a separate source file. So this one is the first design and designs two and three, I've combined them together in one file because the only thing that differ in these particular covers are the colors. In fact, I've created a video on this showing you exactly how I created these covers. So do make sure to also check that out. And then over here, if I open this file, you can see my completed covers ready to be uploaded onto KDP. So you can see that I named them as one, two, three, four, etc. The only time I name them as one A or one B is when the designs differ slightly and I'm still deciding which ones to upload. So if I open these two up, 
you can see that the designs differ slightly in the sense that these children here in this cover they're sort of floating slightly whereas in this cover it looks like they're standing on the ground so after having designed both versions I decided to go with this one and then if I open up the miscellaneous files you can see there's all these random files which aren't very important but I still keep them just in case I need them in the future and that wraps up this short video if you found value in it then do make sure you like it and also subscribe to my channel because i have a ton of valuable content coming up